All right, so pretty much the event is over. The Halloween is done for this year. It was quite fun. This was pretty much the catch. 521 pretty much will be enough for a whole year to do Hydra with it. So there's no issue. And we got more chests. Let's quickly just switch up the shards. Okay, so I've got 23 so far. Let's see if I can get lucky with more than 23. On the last one, I haven't got any luck, so I haven't got any shards from the silver ones. It is a chance to get some shards, as you can see, I've got one. One shard from the silver. And I guess that's about it. Maybe one more. Maybe I'm pushing my luck, though. But I only 24. Okay, this is the bundle. Bundle. Okay, so I've got 24 shards. Let's quickly get the pet chest, which is haunted pet design. I can buy two of them. Refinement event. And this is the one. We already have one, I think. This is the one haunted pet chest. So we can build two more. And there they are. Three of them. Pretty nice. 26 minutes left, and we got seven here. Let's quickly switch them as well. Over. The Halloween is done. And uh, we have a head Christmas one. However, we still have chests to open, right? So let's quickly try and get the silver ones first. 158 silver. And let's go. What can we get from them? More boards. That's nice. Enchant item plus. Nice. A lot of weapons, of course. I saw a magic stone. Nice, 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 nice. That's 8-1. Eight, 8-1 one. Eight, one we got back. Beautiful. Portion of wisdom. And that's about it. One magic stone. A few secrets you'd notice. And how many boards? I've got three boards. What else can we look from here? A bunch of eggs. I guess one enchanted item and one magic stone. That's 8-1. But this one is one one nine one about ten one from this all of this chest. It's not too bad, could be worse. Okay, let's open the gold ones as well. So we can finish in style. Oh claw, you'd know the board, stink sword, magic stone, another magic stone, another eight ones. Core draconis mystical. Weapon, a weapon again, another weapon. Precious core. Magic stone, another magic stone. Nice. Three of them. Another one. Lucky. Stone of Blacksmith. Nice. Moonstone. Sting. White Pearl. Agate. Gorgiaconis. Potion. And the last two. Nice. Four magic stones. Not too bad, I guess. What can we get from Alchemy? Precious. A rare dragon. A rare dragon diamond as well. Cut. Rare. I see the noble one. Cut, cut. Two cuts. And the last one, which is mystical. It will be... Antique Garnet. Ah. Could be worse. I think that's actually the worst one. So that's about it. The Halloween, everyone. We've got everything we wanted on this event. We had fun. We opened chests. We got four magic stones. Which is four x8 ones about 32 ones so 32 ones we got from the magic stones we definitely made profit out of this so it was definitely worth it to open them in the other news we have a new brand new event which is called treasure island so the event is going to end on 30 november and it started in 9th so about 20 days of events and all the characters you need to be level 70 if you want to participate in this event so i played a bit on this event and to me it seems like it created a new marketplace for all the treasure that were pretty much useless most of the silver treasure and gold ones were pretty much useless the other ones you could use them here and there and um, it's very entertaining good rewards as well and it's pretty much about a goblin which you have to guide him i guess to different chests and he is going to open it with a key it's very simple very easy to do and the rewards are very good except 
the chests, which are very expensive nowadays. I can uh, pretty much open it now. I have eight, eight goblin keys. So you can open one for free and then the rest with only with the keys. I can just open them, all them with the keys. So as soon as I open them, I can go to the next level. I get the rewards. I think I got core, yeah. The way I see it is core draconis, yeah. And reset. All right, so this is the second round that I'm opening. There it is. And we move to the third round. All right, so finally I've got the last goblin key, which I got eight. And I'll be on the third round, which I can go on the fourth row. So that's what I actually want to achieve. I'll get all of them and I've opened them. So we're pretty much, if I get the core, be nice, which I did. 15 of them. Alright, so after a couple of runs, this is the outcome that I've got. I think I've got around 200 something runs so far. Can't really check right now, but this is the this is the price that I've got so far. About 17 chests. And I'll try to change a bunch of weapons at the end of the event, because I don't want to change now and get nothing, basically. And I'm around 11, and let's see how many keys do I have left. I've got 17 keys. And it, this one is probably one of the best events that has been in Metin 2, and I'm sure you guys know this already. Because I'm not sure if we're gonna get it the same next time. But let's enjoy it while we have it. So I've got 10 days and 23 hours left. Basically 11 days left from the event, so I'll try to play as much as I can. And uh, I'll try to update on the next video after 11 days and see what's the outcome after 11 days more. I actually have more dragon attacks or, uh, or defense in Storekeeper, so I'll show you at the end of the event, but this event is probably one of the best. Alright, so this is how I'm using the account when I'm not hunting for the treasure hunt, when I sleep or I don't play the game at all. I'm using the Phoenix loot which I've won from the treasure hunt. We've got 10 days left. I still play occasionally when I have time, and uh, this is the item that I'm used to kill the boss here. Pretty much full devils as much as you can. Helmet as well. A bit of absorption because it helps when you hit the boss, you just regenerate really fast. The sash, which I showed you in the past. Hat, just full damage, of course. Helmet, daggers, talisman with 25 resistance and defense 4. Because it helps with the boss. You don't really need alchemy to kill the boss if you got enough resistance. And enough damage, of course, to regenerate your HP. And a bit of wind, because the mobs around it and 10 critical. This one with bleeding attack, which actually helps you to kill the boss faster. So at high levels, bleeding attack is actually a lot helpful than you think. And I'm just putting potions and the green pots. And I pretty much leave it around here overnight. I'm using this alchemy a bit. It doesn't need it, honestly, but I like the extra damage a bit there. I still need to complete the full wheel of excellence, which will be in the future. You'll be pretty much basic, basic excellence for Hydra. So nothing surprising. And I think that's about it. Let's see the boss, how he does on the boss without alchemy. Not gonna use any alchemy just to see how the boss does the whole thing that works on this account is the absorption hp i've got 10 percent here 20 and 25 
And if I had alchemy, probably I would have had like over 30, maybe 45. And let's actually check the stats here. Let's see, 43 monsters. We've got 136 devils. Attack value here, 60 uh, defense value. Average damage, 68. Critical chance, 39%. And wind 56. So this is the stats that I have on the ninja. Which you can kill the boss. There it is. The boss just respawned. And let's see how he does without alchemy. No alchemy being activated. Pure damage that he has with no alchemy. It's about 12,000. 13k. I see 25 critical over there. I'm using the rolling dagger as well, so he doesn't get stuck. And there it is. Killed it with no issues. No alchemy as well, so it's very easy. Very strong ninja. So I'm just leaving it here overnight. Until the pet expires, pretty much. I have two enchanted items with plus left, and it seems like there's no hope with it. So far, nothing good out of them. Nothing. I'm looking for 20 devils and 10 crit, perhaps. 20 devils, 10 half human, 6 devils, nothing. No chance. No chance on getting anything better than what I have right now. It sucks, but that's the Zodiac weapons. What can I say? Alright everyone, so this is the second round that I do the alchemy upgrades. So I've got pretty much 32 of all of them ticks and it's all ready to upgrade. Currently the alchemy is very very cheap if I check the marketplace right now. So the diamond, it's not as cheap as I was expecting it. It's the normal price that it used to be a couple of weeks ago. The ruby one is very very cheap. This one was to be sold with free ones before, but now it's slowly decreasing each day because of the treasure hunt event. The Jade as well, 72 used to be like 1-1, one, one, 90 mil, something like that. Sapphire, 54, 60 ones. I'll put it to 60 ones because a bunch of them are still with 60. Garnet, about 60 as well. And if I check the Onyx, the last one, 60, pretty much 60 the same. Maybe 65, I could put it. But 60, you could instantly sell it. So my plan is to see if I can actually flip all of this alchemy into making more profit. So right now, I've pretty much made all the calculation in a notepad. And I just put it on screen as well. So if I sell all of them, pretty much right now, if I sell all the alchemy that I have right now, I can pretty much make 188 once and 80 million. So let's see if I can actually flip it and make more than 188 ones with all this alchemy. It's going to be also fun and see the experience if you should do it in the future as well or just follow my steps or not. I'll probably say just sell them all, make the money. Don't be stupid, but let's see. And we've got hopefully this one, maybe this one, the last one failed, unfortunately, but it's still very equal. As you can see, all the alchemy has been very equalized, so you didn't really fail much. It was equally, say. Now let's see the prices. 
on this and just see if we sell all of them right now how much money we can make and if we check the prices on the legendaries the first diamond is about 340 something like that 345 but i'd say 340 is fair price ruby is about 630 something like that i would say 640 i can sell it very easily because this is the first first page on the second page is 649 about 640 and the jade is around 270 i would honestly put it maybe i would put it 31 if i could right 275 three ones let's just put it three ones because i feel like three ones would sell it this is on many pages so three ones definitely sapphire 175 180 i see a lot of 180 190 i would honestly put it two two ones just to make more money right and just wait for them to sell let's put the garnet as well garnet same price two ones because i see on the second page a bunch of two ones 190 i'd say let's go on the onyx and the last one and it has the same price 225 240 230 i see right I, I guess i'll put it 215 and uh, in total if we sell all of them all the alchemy that we have all the legendaries we can make about 202 ones and uh, maybe 50 mil 80 mil something like that it depends if you want to sell them higher so we made a profit of 14 ones 13 14 ones a profit if we sell this so we actually made more money by upgrading all of them to legendaries about 10 to 14 ones more now if we go further than this and upgrade them to mythical we might make more so let's see what's the percentage if we're gonna lose or we're gonna make a profit. all right let's go with the onyx first and the last ruby as usual Only two as well. But this one is perfect, I guess. So diamond, let's see the diamond. Two. Both are pretty bad. One is perfect. We could sell this one for more, I guess. And this one, just whatever. Mind you, we have this one as a well left. Jade, three only. This one, the sapphire, was incredible. Not sure if we could sell those. Like they are full so we'll see the prices as well this one four only and this one only five onyx first we're gonna do with clarity we'll keep that one for the last one nice and it's actually how full yeah, it's actually full but the bonuses are not uh, exactly what you want and the last one is ruby i know i could sell this for 22 ones and this for 19 but it's not a massive difference right let's just make a profit on this and it's going to be successful beautiful beautiful lads let's see let's see what we can do with it seems like i had a lot of success mind you i have a few legendaries as well i don't want to actually buy an upgrade i'm gonna sell them so we see the profit all of it so we made one clear diamond one ruby one jade two of them sapphire and one was left which we're gonna sell two garnet as well and uh, two onyx onyx let's go failed we lost on this one Let's see the garnet failed as well so we pretty much lost a lot of money now and this one's successful could this one be sold on flawless perhaps don't know that's it 
it is about 33 ones let's say we can sell it for 35 ones because we've got it actually perfect so after defining all the antiques this is the final result we've got 171 ones if we sell all of them i believe it will be much more faster than selling antiques unfortunately we have lost 17 ones it's not a massive loss it's still there but this is how it went so anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll definitely see you in the next episode with more content hopefully